Bonjour everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Louisa, you're watching Lulu C'est la vie and for today's video I wanted to talk about menstrual cycle and try to you know kind of break it down for you guys because I realize that a lot of women don't really know what's going on when it comes to menstrual cycle and uh, it's really simple it's no it's nothing too complicated and I think it's very important that we understand what's going on so that we can comprehend what our body's trying to tell us so I'm gonna try to break it down as easy as possible um, for the disclaimer I am not a doctor I am a woman which give me a certain in menstrual cycle explanation <laughs> just joking but I'm just a, a woman just like you I've had cycles for many moons now and uh, I get all my information from what my body's telling me plus uh, the um, research I've done online so I hope that I can pass you a little bit of knowledge but I encourage you to first listen to your body and second uh, do your own research online too uh, also, I'm going to use average numbers. Uh, just keep in mind that everybody's different. It's for you to find out your numbers and, uh, you know, listen to your body. Voila. Okay, so first of all, the first day of your cycle is the first day of your period. So it's not when your period ends. That's not the first day of your cycle. It is the first day you're bleeding. When you feel the cramps and you have the blood coming out, this marks day one of your cycle. This is the day uh, doctors use to calculate a due date when you get pregnant. This is also the day you'll have to take your first contraceptive pill uh, if you decide to go on it. So that's the first day of your cycle on an average a cycle lasts 28 days uh, everybody's different some women have 24 day cycles some women have 32 day cycle it's for you to find out what's your number for this example i'm going to use a, a woman um, jane who has a 30 day cycle all right Halfway through Jane's cycle, so around day 15, uh, Jane is going to release an egg. This is called ovulation and uh, her body is just putting an egg out there hoping that it will get fertilized so that we can grow life and the human race can uh, keep populating this earth. <laughs> so halfway through the cycle, around day 15, uh, Jane releases an egg. Now, again, this is an average. Everybody's different. Some women release their eggs right after they're done with their period. Some women release their eggs right before their period. But on an average, the egg is released about uh, halfway through the cycle. So in Jane's case, which, is, which has a 30-day cycle, on day, around day 15, she will release that egg. Now, from the first half of Jane's cycle, so from the first day of her period until she really, day 15, when she would be releasing that egg, there will be um, the estrogen hormone. Uh, estrogen hormone is more like a female hormone that's going to be released and it's going to rise up, 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 up until the egg is released. And this is the part of your cycle where you feel the best. You are... Uh, you have a lot of energy, your skin is glowing, your hair is amazing, you have self-confidence. Um, this almond really makes you feel good. Uh, this is a good time to go for that new job, to ask for a raise, to work on that awesome project, to start a new workout regimen. Um, it start to, it's, it's a great time to start things and, and you know be that go-getter. Uh, person that you are <laughs> once the egg is released if it's fertilized then your body uh, sends out another hormone to stop the period cycle and then you will grow a baby hopefully healthy and all that jazz uh, if it's not fertilized um, your estrogen is going to 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 descend to go down 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 and progesterone which is more of a male hormone is going to start to rise up and this is the part of the cycle so the second half of the cycle from uh, day 15 till day 30 for Jan Jane's uh, case um, this is the part of the cycle where Jane is going to start feeling not so good anymore um, this is when her energy started to get 
lower a little bit um, she's starting to have mood swings and she's getting tired um, and she's losing confidence in herself so this is the part of your cycle when you want to nurture yourself where you want to um, maybe have a little bit more comfort food like know that your diet is going to go towards the comfort food um, this is the part when you're going to want to slow down to, uh, in your workout and do something a little bit more relaxed and maybe less intense. Uh, go to bed a little bit earlier and just do things in your everyday life that are more cocooning, like go and get a pedicure, a massage, uh, and then hang out with your girlfriends a little bit more. Um, voila. So depending on either you want to get pregnant or you don't want to get pregnant, it's really important for you to know when your body is releasing an egg so that you can either prevent a pregnancy or encourage a pregnancy. Uh, and the good news is that your body gives you clues uh, on what's happening and when the egg is going to be released. And on top of that, we have great tools nowadays to help us uh, knowing when we are ovulating. So first I'm going to start with what your, our body is telling us, how the clues that our body is giving us uh, on, on ovulation. So when, you're en when you enter your ovulation window, your vagina is going to start releasing a mucus fluid and this fluid is going to change in um, texture throughout your ovulation days. It's going to start as like a very white uh, paste kind of like a dry paste and then it's gonna turn into a see-through like egg white kind of like egg white uh, gel so this is an indication that your body your vagina is getting ready to uh, receive sperms um, this gel is kind of uh, your the sperm's best friend it allowed the sperm to live longer in your vagina and uh, and swim faster so that they can get to the egg and fertilize the egg so if you're looking to get pregnant once you see that egg white uh, fluid coming out uh, of your vagina that means that it is time to go for it and uh, have sex as much as possible i'm saying that because i don't want youtube to demonetize <laughs> my videos so i'm trying not to use the sex word um <laughs> i know it's ridiculous but whatever so voila if you are looking to not get pregnant this are the time you may want to stay away from uh, sex and uh, do something else you know <laughs> go to the movies or something the second clue that tells you that you are uh, entering your ovulation window is your pelvic placement so your pelvis kind of moves a little bit throughout your cycle uh, and it gets more and more open or higher uh, the closer you get to uh, ovulation uh, that is to allow the sperm to get as close to the uh, to the egg as possible so they have less traveling to do and they can reach uh, the egg faster so there's a few ways to check uh, your pelvic placement uh, online they'll tell you to put a finger in there and see how high it is I personally rather have sex oh man I just said the word <laughs> I personally just have uh, would just have sex and um, and see how far my my husband can go if he can go far up without feeling without me feeling any pain I know that I am really uh, open and that's another indication that I am in my ovulation window. Another clue that your body will give you is body temperature. So the idea is to wake up every morning and take your body temperature first thing you do uh, before you get out of bed and um, your body temperature will pretty much be the same and then on that day you release that egg uh, your body is going to rise significantly, well significantly like a degree or something like that. You would see a difference in the number and that's an indication that you have released 
in an egg. All right, so that's the third, uh, the third clue. Personally, I don't really do body temperature because I don't have time. Um, but you know, when you don't have kids and there's no rush really to get out of bed and, and get things ready in the morning, uh, it's easy to take your body temperature. Just keep a t thermometer by your uh, bed stand and pop it in your mouth uh, first thing in the morning and voila. Um, so there are other clues, but I think these are the most obvious ones that are kind of easy to figure out uh, if you listen to your body and um, pay attention to what it's telling you. Now, as far as the tools that we can use uh, to figure out our ovulation window, you can buy ovulation kits either online or at your drugstore. They're not super expensive and they come in pack of 20s for like 10 bucks. And really what you would do is um, pee on a stick, just like a pregnancy test. And if the two lines are uh, red or whatever color the test is, um, that means that you are in your ovulation window, but they have to be both really, really red. And that means you're ovulating. Another tool that you can use is a uh, app that will track your cycle. And the more you enter uh, the, the dates, the more you correct the dates of uh, when you have your period and when you think you're ovulating, the more accurate the app will be. So at first it's gonna be approximate and as the month go by and you enter the dates and, and the symptoms and all that you have, um, the app is gonna get more and more accurate. I've been using the Glow uh, map for, for since before Ella was born. So it's gonna be like seven years or something like that. And I have to say they are on point. Like they're really, really good. Why is this important to know? Well, it's important to know where you stand in your cycle so you can understand why you feel a certain way about things. Personally, I know that in the first half of my cycle, uh, life is easier, I take things lighter, I am I'm a go-getter, a fighter, I have a lot of energy and I wanna go for things. And once I ovulated, uh, I am good for that following week after ovulation, but the last week of my cycle, I know I have to take it easy. I know I have to maybe not go to the gym as often. Uh, I know I will crave more comfort food and then it would make sense as why do I want to eat chocolate? Why do I want to eat carbs all the time? Because I'm on the last week of my cycle and I'm my body is preparing for uh, my period. Uh, also sometimes SEX could be uh, painful and you don't know why. Well maybe you are uh, really close to getting your period and your cervix are very low because there's no reason for your cervix to be super open since there's no eggs to to fertilize and that's why when your partner gets inside he can't go too far because it's kind of you know he's hitting a wall type of thing um, so it helps you really understand uh, why your sex life is is a certain way it helps you understand why your mood is a certain way and I feel like knowledge is power once you know where you stand in your cycle then you can act accordingly and um, you know just make sure that you take care of yourself better so voila this is that I just wanted to break it down for you for my sisters all right you guys well this is it for this video I hope you enjoyed it uh, I try to keep it as simple as possible I really encourage you to listen to your body and uh, listen to the clues that he, he she's giving you uh, let me know in the comments below what are the clues your body gives you when it's time for ovulation when it's time uh, for you know the period and all that what happens to your body how do you cope with things what do you do to make yourself feel better um, and then voila don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the content uh, feel free to share with friends uh, and family and then don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet where have you been what are you waiting for <laughs> I will see you guys very soon with a new video until then have a beautiful life au revoir et à bientôt <laughs> hey c'est la vie.